Hey guys, this is B Random Gaming here with another video for you guys, and today I'm doing a little bit something different. I wanted to give you guys my take on the new cards that are coming out for um, the new Hearthstone expansion, One Night in Karazhan. Uh, whenever a new expansion comes out, like, uh, you know, Whisper the Old Gods, or as of now, the One Night in Karazhan, everyone's going to be really hyped for the new cards, and they're going to want to know if they're meta-defining, and they're going to want to know what the crack is with these cards. So people like, uh, you know, like the big guys like Trump and uh, Crip and Kibler, they'll have their take as well. There's also a lot of other, uh, you know, YouTubers, well, streamers as well that do YouTube for Hearthstone and, you know, do reviews and stuff. But uh, anyway, th this is my take. Uh, to be honest, you're probably, not, you're probably better off taking that. You're probably better off trusting them more than me. But I just wanted to, get to show you guys, um, you know, my take on what I think they're going to be like. Let's begin with Zubat, a 3 mana 3-3 three, three with a battle cry, give a random friendly beast, dragon and murloc, plus one, plus one. And it's also a mech. I think this card is going to be, you know, alright to be fair, I think it's going to be an alright card. It's quite similar to Sun Shattered Cleric, which is a, you know, the 3 mana 3-2 three, gives someone plus one, plus one. But this one has a chance of giving your guys plus three guys plus one plus one so in uh, the a dream in the the dream would be have a beast a dragon and a murloc out and then give them all plus one plus one which would be insane value as you would know um i'm not sure if this is going to see much play because you, if you want a jumble deck i mean it would work well with the curator if you had the curator you played the curator and then you have the three cards you'd have to play the three cards and they could be really high so you can't play them all at the same time that's of course if you want the dream you don't really need to do that you could just be like oh i play this beast and i'll give it plus one plus one with this or hope or maybe get two out uh i see i'm, I'm not sure if people are going to start using murlocs in a deck i feel like people are just going to be like all right then i'm going to well personally I'm, i probably won't put any murlocs in my deck i'm probably just going to be like Beasts and dragons. Uh, I'm. I don't really see like because most Murloc cards aren't that good. Like one of like the best Murloc cards going is that um, Murloc Knight, which is a three mana, four mana, four three four with Inspire. Uh, some of the random friendly Murloc. Uh, but I, uh, I'm gonna say that this card is going to get like a bit of play at the start. Just see what it, um, what's what's going on with it. Um, Maybe uh, in arena, I feel like people might choose it quite a lot because a three mana three three is pretty good. Um, but it's gonna be hard to always get that synergy going with it in arena. Okay, then. So the next card is Protect the King, which is a three mana spell. That is a rare spell, and for each enemy minion, summon a one one pawn with taunt. Now everyone's comparing this to Unleash the Hounds, which is fair to say it's pretty much the same thing. But everyone is going is saying that um, the charges are better than taunt, which is true, I believe. Um, but one thing I think this card's going to be really good for is um, just say your opponent's got a four, uh, like four minions, and um, you know you're sat there like oh shit, and well if you got this in your hand, then you're pretty much safe for a turn because they will absorb every single hit, unless they're playing the, you know, like Wind Fury cards, but there's not many Wind Fury cards that are played and constructed. Uh, like, the Shaman barely plays Wind Fury cards, and like, there's not really many good for Wind Fury cards anyway. But, um, anyway, so I think Protect the King will be an alright card, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm, I don't think it's gonna be better changing at all. I think it'll be, I think it'll be a decent card, like, I'll definitely try it out, just for the shits and giggles, but, um, I don't think it's going to uh, do very well. Next, we have Prince Malkazar, a 5 mana 5 6 demon, and when the game starts, add 5 extra legendary minions to your deck. Now, unlike the, uh, this group I'm on, on uh, you know, on social media, um, this card got, like, everyone was like, oh my god, this card's going to be really good. And I was on that bandwagon as well, like, I was like, this card's like OP, I was like, adding 5 extra legendaries to your deck, GG, good game. But, 
one thing that I saw that people was, other people were saying, like, you know, the big guys, they were saying that this card makes your deck way less consistent, which is true, and that sucks. You want your deck to be as concise as possible, especially in Hearthstone, because uh, it, it's the most con concise it can be with thir just 30 cards, so having an extra 5 uh, could be shit. Um, but they're legendary minions, so they're always going to be big, impactful minions. So maybe I'm going to I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to use this card at some point. I think it's going to get some play. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be like meta defining, just because it it lacks, it makes your deck way less consistent. But I really like this card. It's got a really cool effect, and I personally can't wait to use it in uh, standard. We have a Priest card, 4 mana, 3-6, Priest of the Feast, which, whenever you cast a spell, summon, I mean, uh, restore 3 health to your hero. This card, uh, I don't know, a 4 mana, 3-6 is actually pretty good. To get rid of something on turn f 4 as 6 health is going to be really hard, and that's a pretty on-curve card. Uh, this card will be able to deal to, to kill like any two le two drops that are left over, and you know still be in there kicking. Maybe take out this card could get some good value uh, trading wise, and um, cast uh, the healing effect should be pretty good. Um, it's uh, well when I say pretty good, it'll be like all right. Like it won't like it probably won't save you unless you're casting spells for days. But um, this card. Uh, looking at it now, I'm not sure if it's going to get too much play, but I think just because it's uh, really, it's a quite a good, really well, good stat line for what it does, so maybe um, it will, but I'm going to say that it's not a very good card. We have the Pompous Vespian, a 2 mana 3 2 with taunts. This is just a stat up of the uh, Frostwolf. Grunt, which is a 2 mana 2 2 with taunt. So this is better, but does that mean it's going to see play? No, I don't think so. In taunt, uh, <clears throat> in arena, this card I'm going to use quite a lot, I think. I think if it was a 2 mana 2 3, then we could have had some, something on the cards, but it's a 3 2. Uh, of course, that makes it way better anyway, that means it can trade with. Uh, you know the two two threes, but if it but if it had three health, that means it would be more sticky, and I think it would be better. But uh, I, I I think it's an all right card. I don't think it will see much play though. We have the Pantry Spider, a three mana one three beast battle cry summon a one three spider. I honestly don't think this card's gonna be that good. Uh, that's because Haunted Creeper is a kick card that, of course, it isn't in the, it's in Wild now. It's not playable. That's a one mana one. That's a two mana one two. That's something that's two one ones. And I think you just get more value there. And this is a three mana card. I don't think this is going to be a very good card. In all honesty, um, it's quite. It's a very sticky card though, which is pretty good. But a, two, a one a card with a one three stat line is not very good especially at three mana because like, this is pretty much uh, like a two six but well, like a one six because it summons two one threes so, I don't I, I don't think it's a good card I'm I'm gonna say it's flat out bad okay so we have a priest card three mana two three <clears throat> with a battle cry if you're holding a dragon Summon two one one whelps. I haven't seen this card, so this is this is all new to me. I, I don't think I've seen this card. Um, this card seems all right. Another dragon synergy card. I'm liking all these dragon synergy cards, and we'll get into them as we go along. Uh, this seems like it has pretty good value. Um, uh, being able to summon two one ones that seems pretty good to me. Um, I think it'll get run for a while just because it's Dragon, and I think Dragon is de is coming back because of this expansion. Um, and uh, I hope hope so because I really like Dragon decks. Uh, I think it'll definitely get a bit of play. 
And uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll probably try it myself, so I'm going to say it's pretty decent. Okay, so we have Mor Morios, or Mori Mori Moros, I don't, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's a 3 mana 1-1 one, one with stealth, and at the end of your turn, summon a 1-1 one, one steward. This seems like an okay card. Um, the only problem is, in the metagame right now, we have... We have that infamous Ravaging Ghoul, which is going to fucking ruin this card. And it's on um, it's 3, so if you're playing f playing first, you play this, they play that, you're fucked, you're dead. GG, good game. Might as well go cry. Because this isn't, won't get much value, this isn't getting any value for you if you're, if you're fucking, if it's destroyed straight away. I think it's going to be, I think it's an alright card, otherwise... Like, if Ravaging Gold didn't exist, then this card would be really good. Or, like, you know, like, you know, there's AoE effects. Um, because, like, I saw I saw the video Trump did, and he said it's going to be, like, pushing... It's, like, pretty much using the hero power for Paladin every turn for free. And that seems pretty good, to be honest. Because um, I, I personally really like Paladin's hero power. Um, and I think that could have some real good value, and it's stealthed, of course. So you're not going to be, you, you'll probably not ever attack with this unless you've got lethal and you want to BM him with a Morio's kill, but a Morio's kill, I can pronounce it. But um, yeah, so if they don't have any effects like that, then you'll you'll see this for the whole game, and it'll just generate value after value after value. So I think it's an all right card. Next we have the Nether Sprite Historian. A two mana one three, and with battle cry. If you're holding a dragon, discover a dragon. I think this card's really good. I'm gonna say that now. I think this card's gonna be really really good. And in constructed, it's gonna be really good. In arena, it's gonna be dick. It's not gonna be very good in arena, just because there's not much chance you're gonna be holding a dragon. It's not gonna. It does. It's not on curve because it's a one three, not like a two three or a three two. Which is fair, I think, because it's got a pretty good fucking uh, stat line. Uh, I'm going to compare this to the um, museum curator. The museum curator is a two mana one two, but that gets you, that discovers a death rattle card, so you always get a death rattle card. This has got a better stats, and you're looking for a dragon. So when you when you fucking discover this dragon, it's going to be usually it's going to be fucking massive, and it's going to be legendary most of the time. And it's gonna fucking wreck your opponent. It's gonna, you're gonna put your big dragon dick in them, and you're gonna fucking beat them. Hopefully, with this extra, this card that's gonna most likely generate a fuck ton of value. So I think this card's gonna be really good, and I cannot wait to use it in my deck, that my dragon deck when it when this comes out. Okay, so we have a priest card, two mana spell, a common spell, silence a friendly minion, draw a card. Um, I'm not sure if the silence effect is going to be extremely useful, um, at all. I mean, like, unless, of course, like, I'm trying to think of a good example. Like, like, just say you run, uh, this is probably not going to happen, but, uh, that fucking 4 mana 7-7, seven, seven, I can't remember what it's called, that big, the toe, no, it's like a, like that ancient watcher, I think it's called. No, no, no. That's the two mana for five. It's a four mana seven seven. That uh, and it's not the really OP one in Shaman. It's the one that can't attack unless there, if there's another minion on the field. I think if you had that and then you played this on it, then you're getting some major value there, and then you get to draw a card. So that's pretty good. But I don't see that happening too much, and I don't know what other synergies Silence could have. So unless there's like a mega decent synergy out there, then I don't think this is going to get too much play. Okay, so you have the Runic Egg, a 1 mana 0 2, and Death Rattle, draw a card. Now, I don't think this is going to be very good, and the reason why is because it's just going to sit on the field forever. Because your opponent isn't going to try and kill it, because it's it's got zero attack. It's just, And if you want to destroy it, then that's fair enough, but you're just wasting your goddamn spell or whatever you're using to get rid of this card. Unless, you, of course, you run it in, like, an aggro deck, 
maybe this and then um, next turn you play like something that buffs its attack and then fuck over someone. That could be good, but I don't see it getting too much play outside of aggro, I don't think. But it's, it's that's why I like loop order, you know, the 2 mana 2 1, because it gets to attack. So next turn you're definitely drawing a card. It's because I feel like this card's going to be a bit too slow. But we will see. In aggro, it looks like it could have a good, a little good home there. Okay, so we have the Wicked Witch Doctor. It's a shaman card. 4 mana, 3, 4. Whenever you cast a spell, summon a random basic totem. Straight off the bat, I haven't seen this card, and but I already see the synergy with Thing from below. That is going to be really good. And if, you know, you're, if you're running enough spells, that Thing from below is going to be pretty good. It, it, most likely it's going to be like a 2 mana, 5, 5, which of course is pretty insane. So I think this card could be good. And also it's got alright stats as well now I look at it. But I don't think it's gonna like completely change the game or anything of that degree. But I think it's gonna be it's gonna have some good synergy, so I, I, I expect to see it. Okay, so we have the Violet Illusionist. A three mana four three, which is pretty good stats. And during your turn your hero is a mute. That seems pretty good. Um it's, it, it's so instead of it being a 3 3 for free, it's a 4 3, so it stats are better anyway. And they're gonna want this is pretty much a taunt card, essentially. Um, for no, this is pretty much like having uh, Gladiator's Longbow, but with a, any other card. Um, I know that doesn't get much play, uh, but if you're if you're running weapons, this card's really good because you could play this and then play like Fire War Axe and then fucking kill something and then you've got no you take no damage so i think it's gonna really good in that could be good in control warrior um and yeah I, I, that's pretty much it yeah i think it could be quite good yeah okay so we have the curator a legendary seven mana four six with taunt and battle cry draw a beast dragon and murloc from your deck this is the card that's gonna either make or break the the jumble deck, which is of beasts, dragons, and murlocs. Personally, I think this is going to sit well in a dragon deck that uses beasts, and I'd be all happy for that. I imagine this is going to be like I don't think there's going to be many murlocs running around unless you have a unless you just literally put one murloc in your deck and you use it just so you get value off more value off curing. But this card seems really, really good. Because it's specific draws, it's not like draw, draw whatever cards. It's draw a beast, a dragon, and a murloc. Of course, you have to have them in your deck, but you're getting some major value there, and you're gonna usually know what kind of card you're gonna get because it's gonna be a fucking mint, of course. But um, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good, good card that you draw usually. Um, probably could save you the game. Maybe, I don't know, I mean, it's 7 mana, so you won't be able to usually play a dragon on your turn. Murloc, definitely, probably, and Beast, maybe. But, we will see. I think this card's going to be pretty good, to be honest. Okay then, so we have a 1 mana 1-1 one, one Pirate Swashbuckler, which is a rogue card, and Battlecry, add a random class card to your hand from your opponent's class. So this is very, very reminiscent of and the City Huckster, which is a 2 mana 2 2. That isn't a pirate, but that gives you a card, card, class card from your opponent. Not sure if it gives it you from your deck or not, I don't think so. This card is, will see play, I think, just because it's got that effect, and that could really, really change the game. Uh, you're usually going to get a pretty decent card from your opponent. Um, and yeah, that's just insane value for a 1 mana card. And um, I think. Oh wait, it's a battle cry. Oh shit, it's not even death rattle. So it's even quicker. Damn, I should read properly. So yeah, I think this card's been really good. Like, even better because it's faster now. It's faster because I fucking read it properly. Uh, Spirit Claws. A 1 mana, 1 3. And uh, this has plus 2 attack while you have spell damage. Um, I feel like this could be a good card, maybe. But like, if this is a warrior card, I think it's a warrior card, then why would you run spell damage? 
so you're not going to get value. It, unless, oh, unless it's Druid, Druid, because it's Claws, that would make a lot more sense. Or is it, sh oh, I fucking don't know. But uh, I'll just review it for every separate class. So Warrior is going to be shit. Druid, it will be good because they have a lot of good spells and stuff that they would want spell down for. And Shaman, if it were to run this, then I would say that it would be pretty good. Probably best in Druid this card is. If it is, I don't fucking know. You should probably fucking look. But I'm lazy. But that's what I think. So I think if it's in Druid, then it's going to be good. We have the Silverware Golem, a fucking 3 mana 3-3 three, three, that is a rare, and if you discard this minion, summon it. I think this there's a lot of cards that are going to make you discard, so I think this is going to be pretty decent in a discard deck, but that matters if a discard deck actually comes to fruition. Because if that doesn't come to fruition, then this card's going to sit in your fucking collection and be sad and shit, because you're not going to use it. But I think it has potential. If the if the discard card this the discard function works, then this will see play. Other than that, no, you're not going to use it. It's going to be dead. Paladin spell. Give a minion plus two plus two. Summon a random two plus minion. That seems pretty good. Um, I think this card will get play, but. Uh, it's not going to be as impactful as the other ones, which you will see. Um, so I think it's going to be like decent, but I'm not sure if it's going to get played just because you could just have other cards. But of course, we will see. I think it's not going to be much play. Onyx Bishop, 5 mana, 3 4 priest card, battle cry, summon a friendly minion that died this game. I could see this getting some good value if you're running in the Zoff deck, in Priest. It's kind of like having Resurrected Priest deck, but it's in a, it's in a card. Its stats a bit, bit shit for um, a 5 mana card, but that friendly minion could be insane. So if you're running like big death rattle cards, then you could pull out a Sylvanas, or a Khan, or fucking something really really big this could this could generate a fuck ton of value i think it's going to be a good card babbling book one mana one one spell there eh? <laughs> one mana one one minion from mage battle cry add a random mage spell to your hand i think this is going to be decent it's not going to be game breaking or anything it's going to be okay decent Good for random mage if you're going to make a random mage, which are quite fun. I would recommend. Um, uh, the the value that this card's going to be giving is usually going to be really good because mage cards are usually like you, mage usually has the best spells. Because if you pull out a fireball or val if you want value town, a bolus tome that could be mega value town. Uh, I think this card will be. I think this card could get play. Um, just because it's got some really, really good value. Okay, so we have a 5 mana Warlock spell, Kara Kazam, summon a 1 1 candle, 2 2 broom, and 3 3 teapot. This is very similar to um, the, what's it called? The uh, 5 mana 4 4 that summons a 2 2. Um, can't exactly remember its name, but um, that is on the screen. <laughs> I think this card's going to be okay, maybe decent in Arena, um, I don't think it's going to see much play in actual Warlock decks, just because it's not that good. It's, I think it's also quite similar to Stand Against Darkness, and this gets more value than Stand Against Darkness, so it's better than that, and that doesn't get any play because it's a bit shit, by bit I mean really shit. Um, I personally think this card's going to get, not, not going to get much play. Okay, so we have a six mana uh, druid. Is it druid? I think it's druid. Or oh, I was, I think it's druid. A six mana uh, moonglade portal rare card. Restore six health. Summon a random six cost minion. Straight away, just because it's really good value, I think this is going to get play. Um, six health could get you out of a tight spot. 
and Flash Heal is a 1 mana f f restore 5 health, and you're getting a tiny bit more than that, then you get a random 6 cost minion. So you're technically getting 7 mana's worth for 6. So I think it's going to be a pretty alright card, because most 6 mana cards are pretty good. Moat Lurker is a 6 mana 3-3 three, three minion, battle cry, destroy a minion, death rattle, resummon it. I see this being okay, it's a bit slow, and it's shit, stat wise. I see this working well in death rattle decks, so like Nazoth might appreciate this card, because then you get two of that card as well when you resummon it, and if it's a legendary, then that is some pretty good value. Um, so I could see it getting play there, and also um, it saves you from having to kill your own Sylvanas to get value off it. You could just, uh, you can play this card, kill Sylvanas, get back value, and then when this card dies it gets resummoned. So that seems like you get good value off this card. I think it'll get play in Death Rattle card decks, and that, um, and I, that should be pretty decent, so I'm going to say it will get play, but only in certain decks. We have the Managery Warden, probably said that wrong. wrong. <laughs> uh, 6 mana 5-5 five, five with Battlecry, choose a friendly beast to summon a copy of it. Now, this could be pretty good. Um, uh, like, it ma of course it matters what beast it is. If it's, a, it's got... It's hard to um, keep minions on the... like the same minion on the board as of constructed and stuff because everything's about you know keeping control and stuff. But um this could get insane value off the big beasts. But I think this card will be pretty okay but it's quite it's quite costly and it's stat line's okay. So I think it might get fun. We have the Managery Magician, a 5 mana 4-4 four, four, with Battle Cry, give a random friendly Beast Dragon a Murloc plus 2 plus 2. Now if you're playing a Jumble deck, this is going to get some fucking awesome value. Kind of like a bigger, it's pretty much a bigger Zubar. Um, and if you're pulling that off, if you're pulling off the Dream, then you're going to get a fuck ton of fucking value, and that could be game changing. So this could be seen playing maybe a Beast Dragon deck, maybe with a few Murlocs tied in. Um, I'm going to say this card's good. So we have Mediv the Guardian, an 8 mana 7-7 seven, seven, with Battle Cry equipped a Tish Grandstaff the Guardian. And a Tish is a, a 1 mana, uh, is it a 1 mana? I'm not sure really matters if it's a mana, it's like whatever mana, 1-3, um, and um, basically what that does is um, when you play a spell you get to summon a cop, uh, uh, minion of the same cost of that, so this, that card is going to be, this card I think is going to be really, really good. Um, just, and also, it's, gonna, it's a weapon, you get a weapon, and that means everyone can run rep weapons, so that means cards that are destroying weapons are going to get way more play because everyone potentially has weapons, which was not available before, I don't believe, unless you play Blingtron. Other than that, and other circumstances, this means you have a consistent way of getting a weapon in any class, and I'm really excited about that, that's going to be cool. Uh, so that means it's going to make those cards way more frequent, and that means, uh, what's his face, Harrison Jones could get some pretty good value. So. I think this card's going to be good, as it generates awesome value if you use the, the staff with spells, and you're going to get so many goddamn good shit coming from it, so I'm going to say this card is good, and we'll get play. So we have a 3 mana 3-4, three, a cloaked huntress. Okay, this is the, um, this is the hunter card, I believe. This is hunter, yes. So um, your so this is a three mana three four and your secrets cost zero. Um, I don't think it's gonna be that good because see, unless you play a fuck ton of secrets and you could get a fuck ton of value, but s secrets from Hunter are usually freezing and explosive trap. Not many other ones get played, so I don't, you don't really get too much value from this card. But um, but of course, since it's three mana, and so you get to play it early. And if you have secrets, then you're going to you're going to be doing a major um, 
tempo play, so that could make it uh, hunt hashtag tempo hunter coming around the corner. Uh, but we'll see. It could be a really really good card, but I haven't got my hopes up for it being amazing. Okay, so we have Cat Trick, a uh, two mana rare card which secret after you've opponent cast a spell, summon a forty pound of stealth. Uh, so this is a hunter card, and um, this seems like an alright card, um, no matters how many spells your opponent's playing, um, and it, uh, this this could be sitting on the field for fucking ages, or it could be straight away. Uh, it seems like it seems pretty decent because like um, a four uh, a two mana card that gets you a four two with stealth. Seems pretty, pretty good, and um, I think this this could get play actually, to be honest. And um, because you know they'll you they could use a ball clear, and then you pull out a cat trick, and they can't get rid of it because they use their ball clear already. So this could leave you with a board, and it's a pretty good card as well. So I think this could get play, especially with the card that we just had before. Okay, so we have Buckworm, a six mana three six. Battle cry, if you're holding a dragon, destroy an enemy minion with three, attack with less. Its stats are shit for its mana cost, but I think this card is reminiscent of Stampede Encoder, which is a five mana three five beast card, destroy a minion with two or less attack. That this card is less consistent as you have to have a dragon in your hand, but usually if you're playing dragon deck, then you're most likely gonna have a dragon in your hand. So it's not gonna be too inconsistent. Also, um, it's three attack instead of two, so that's going to destroy some really, really good cards like uh, pretty much every two drop, shit ton of fucking um, like three five minions, and they're annoying as fuck to get rid of. Uh, other bookworms on the field, anything with you know, there's quite a lot of cards with, like three attack and then like uh, like loads of health, so this could generate a shit ton of value, and of course the dragon, so. I could see this getting played in Dragon Decks. Also, I like this card, it's, it's, it's cool. I like the pun and everything. Okay, so we have Barnes, which is a 4 mana, um, 4 mana 3 4 with Battlecry, summon a 1 1 copy of Random Minion in your deck. Now, this could be fucking insane. Uh, I could see this being played in a Druid deck. And having like something that just has fucked like gives like loads of cards have loads of value, and then you pull out like the dream Aviana one one Aviana where you just play your whole hand and then just out temper you, the opponent just fucking wreck them. Something along those lines would be insane. As well as pulling out like a one one version of Usage and then pulling out another fucking card, and then just crazy shit. This card's gonna be able to do some crazy fucking stuff, and I'm excited for it. So I think this card's gonna get some play. Is it gonna? Is it insane? Not insane, but it's pretty good. So I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna be using this card definitely at some point. So we have Avian Watcher, a five mana three six with battle cry. If you control the secret, gain plus one plus one and taunt. Now that seems pretty decent if you're playing secrets. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure if there's going to be a meta just roving around secrets, I honestly don't see it. This card isn't going to get play in, of course, any fucking deck that doesn't have any secret cards, uh, you know, um, class that doesn't have any secrets, for example, Warrior. But in those card in the ones that it does, that means if you do have a secret, then you have a 4-7 with Taunt. And 7 health is a hard to get rid of, and 4 attack is a lot of attack, and it's 5 mana. So I think this card would be able to really stall if you hand control the secret. So I think this could get play if there's secret decks around the corner maybe, but other than that it's not that good at all, it's shit if it isn't. So we have a 4 mana 3-2, Arcano Smith, Battlecry, summon a 0-5 minion with Taunt. That seems pretty good, um, so you have your um, 3 kind of shit 3-2, 4 mana 3-2, but then you have this big taunt that's just sat in the way um, so you could use this really really well I think it'll get some play maybe I don't see it getting too much play just because it's just weak like a 4 mana 3-2 is that's a 2 mana stat line and that's a bit shit but 
but um, having that extra taunt could make it really, really good. And it, of course, it's a battle cry, so it gets synergy with like uh, Bran, and that means you have two zero fives with taunt. That's pretty good value. So we have a new giant card, Arcane Giant, a 12 mana 8 8. Costs one less for each spell you've cast this game. I see this being used in mage decks. Tempo Mage, to be exact. This could be insane in Tempo Mage, because, like, they're, they're making mana worms at, like, fucking six three mana worms, and then, like, just fucking wrecking people. So this, I think, is going to get some play, and it's going to be insane, I think. If, in the right deck, that runs enough spells. So we have Deadly Fork, a Warlock card. Apparently, um, uh, fucking... They, um, they've got some inspiration from Beating the Beast, the Warlocks have uh, this expansion. 3 mana, 3 2, Death Rattle, add a 3 2 weapon to your hand. So that means Warlock can get weapons, that seems really cool. I'm not sure um, uh, what the um, the weapon's gonna, if the weapon, well, how much the weapon's gonna cost. I guess it's gonna be like 3, 3 mana, just so it's not like a fiery Warlock in that OP. But I see this being a really good card. Um, I, th I see it getting play. Um, because 3 mana 3-2 three, isn't too bad, and then you have a weapon, and Warlock didn't have access to weapons, so this is gonna, this is really, really cool. Um, I think it will get play. I'm not sure if it'll be an aggro there, it could be a different type of Warlock, but it's gonna get play, I reckon. So we have a Enchanted Raven, a 1 mana 2-2, two, two. that's a beast. Very simple card, I think it will get played just because it's a decent one drop. And I think because it's a beast, that means your kill command is going to be really good with this card. You play this, you play kill command, that, become, that becomes a four, pretty much a four mana, play two two, deal five damage kind of thing. That's really, really good. I would, I think this card's going to be used, even if it is not like it's really special or anything. So we have a mage 2 mana 2 3 with Medivh's um, Valor, it's a ba and battle cry, if you control a secret, deal 3 damage. That seems like insane value, I think this could get some play, um, but of course, uh, of course you'd have to fucking run secrets, and I don't see mage getting too many, like, going crazy over secrets, but if that does happen, this card's gonna be insane and probably be in like every secret mage deck, if they ex become a thing, and it's going to be insane, it's going to be really really good, so 2 mana deal 3 damage, and that's good already, of course it's mana, it's not always there, but that's pretty good, so I think this will get play if a certain deck archetype comes to fruition. So we have Markazar's Imp, whenever you discard a card, draw a card, this card is same as the, um, the Silverware Golem, if, if discard discard decks become a thing, then this is going to be decent. If they don't, it's going to be ass. And it's got a good stat line, of course. 1 mana, 1 3 is pretty awesome, but I'm not sure if it's going to get much play at all, really, unless the discard function becomes a proper deck archetype. Uh, we can only hope. So I'm going to say this has potential. So you have a 2 mana shaman card, Maelstorm Portal, Deal one damage to all enemy minions. Summon a random or cost minion. So it's um, it's a whirlwind, but you also get a minion, and it costs one more. So uh, and it's only to the one second board. That seems okay. Uh, I don't think it's gonna have much play because it's just because it's not as impactful as the other portals. And um, one cost minions are usually dick. Um, so. No, it's not. I don't think it's going to be that good. So here we go. Here is the kindly grandmother, a two mana one one with some death rattle, summon a three two big bad wolf. I think this card's going to be really good, and I think we're going to see it a lot, just because it's sticky and that and it's not like big three a three two's ass because it's not. That's really good. So uh, for a two mana card as well. So like I think this card's going to be really really good, and I expect to see it in any, in many hunter decks. So we have the Ivory Knight, a 6 mana 4-4 four, four battle cry, discover a spell, restore health to your hero, equal to its cost. Now, there's, this card seems okay. Uh, okay because it's 
it's discover a spell is really good, but unlike unlike um what's his face fucking mage, the spells aren't like the average like spell like I I all I, I can think of a shitload of like ones, twos, and threes. So this it's, there's a he heal factor is not gonna be very very good, and but the the, the spell will be good that you get off it. But the you won't get much uh, health back, and I don't think it's going to change much that you heal. But a, six, a four four isn't too bad, but at six mana that's a bit shit. But discovering that spell is pretty decent. Um, I think this will get play, uh, but I'm not sure if it will get too much play. I we can we can only hope. So I think this card's okay. It has potential. So we have the Iron Forge Portal, a warrior card, gain 4 armor, summon a random 4 plus minion. That seems pretty good, that seems like pretty good of, good value to me. Um, I think it's a good card technically, but like I don't think it'll see much play. Um, just cause like you could just run a different card, if you know what I mean. Like, I don't know, um, summoning a random 4 plus minion could be really bad, or Okay, There's, I'm not sure what the average stat line of a four man card is, but I think it's okay. I don't think it will get much player warrior though. So it is good value though. I think it's good value, but I don't think it's going to get much value, much um, uh, play. So we have Fool's Bane, a five mana three four, unlimited attacks each turn, can't attack heroes. I think this is a Warrior weapon? I'm really bad at this. I think it's Warrior because like, the other one thing is red. Um, I think this is de decent because it gets unlimited attacks. So it, you could just smack the fuck out of your opponent's thingies and with that other, the card that gives you immune for your turn, you're getting insane value. And I think this card's going to get some play. Okay, so we have the infamous um, Salty Portal for Arena. 7 mana f um, spell, deal 5 damage, summon a random 5 plus minion. Uh, I've seen like, what people think of this card, they think it's going to be okay. I also think it's going to be okay. Uh, in in Constructor it's going to be okay, but in uh, fucking... In uh, what's its face, fucking um, Arena, this card's going to be insane. And it's common and everyone's going to have it and everyone's going to cry. Because it's an adventure, it gets adventure boost, it's gonna, everyone's going to be fucking have this card. And it's going to be OP and Mage's OP already, so expect to see this a fucking lot in Arena after after uh, this expansion comes out. Um, but I don't think it's going to see much constructive play. Seems like a fun card, but it won't see much play in constructive. But Arena, it's going to fucking kill you a lot, and you're going to get salty, salty like crap. And um, yeah, I think it should have been a rare. I think I do agree with Crip, um on his video. I'll put it in the description. But yeah, it should have been a rare just so Arena wouldn't get dicked. But anyway, let's move on. So we have the Ethereal Peddler, a 5-mana uh, five 5-6. Five, Reduce the cost of cards in your hand from other classes by 2. This seems pretty valuable. Um, valuable. <laughs> I'm thinking, you run Undercity Huxley, you run Burgle, you run that new pirate, you fucking wait for that Ethereal Peddler, you fucking play that, you get the biggest tempo play ever, and you rape your opponent. Seems pretty good to me. Um, not sure if it will get too much play outside because there's no value there. Um, but it seems pretty good. Uh, I think it will get play, and it seems like a, and it's on curve as well. It's an on curve card. Having six health means it will survive. Uh, could survive other five drops as well, uh, and kill kill a four drop, but also survive a four drop. So I think it's going to be really good. And the last card is Arcane Anomaly, which is a one mana two one. Whenever you cast a spell, give this minion plus one health. Um, I see this being run in like a tempo mage kind of thing. Um, like the the mana worm, like you play this and then you have like a two attack, six health minion. But it could be dick. It, it seems like most of the time it's not going to be very good. Um, I think this is a bad card. Uh, and there's not really much else to say. I don't think it's going to get run too much in other decks. It's a, I think it's a bit too slow because it's only got one health. Like, Mana Worm has three health. So it's always going to survive the first turn, usually. Unless you're second and they have Frostbolt. Other than that, usually survives the first turn. 
this gets fucked over if you're second and they're a mage pretty much. So I don't think this is going to get too much play, um, and I think it's a bad card. And there we have it, that is all of the cards that are going to be revealed. This, um, this for this expansion, these are going to, these are the new cards, of course. I think it's going to be a good expansion, I think it's going to really add to the meta game. There's going to be some really cool decks coming out, especially with the Beast, Morlock, Dragon thing. I am really excited to make some insane Beast, Dragon, Murloc decks. They're going to be really fun to play. Uh, and and the new and like the cards are just going to be really really fun to play. I think um, that there's a lot of like like Prince Malkazar is like really cool because it's got like the add Fran and five legendaries. So you're like, ah, oh, I've got game because <laughs> Prince Malkazar. I thought it was a bad card kind of thing. It's gonna. I think this expansion is gonna be really fun. Um, let's see how wrong I am <laughs> in the future. Um, so. Yeah, that's everything for me guys, so thank you for watching, this has been B-Random Gaming, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching, see you next time, and goodbye.